Ready? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, Tasties. Welcome to T A S T E Buds. Wow. This Here we is are. this is a a monumental episode. New year. This is wild. Okay. Yeah. There's so many things to talk about. Yes. We're in the year of our Lord 2024. Okay. Game we blue. are in a new, if you haven't caught it, we are in a new space. Um, and here's what you guys need to know. There's gonna be a handful of episodes in this space that we just moved into. But eventually, in the next X amount of weeks, we are in the process of redesigning the entire space, giving the entire studio a complete facelift, a whole new look. So we have up some familiar things in the background, but stay tuned. We will count it down, but we are real excited to transform this studio into something that it's never been before, and there's going to be some cool stuff involved in that. Yes, yes. It's uh, There's good energy so far in here. It feels good. It feels right. It feels like we could probably scream at each other in here and get away with it, right? <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to find out. We're going to find out because today is a heater, but um, if not, we might have to put up some soundproofing. I'm soundproofing. I say that like I know what I'm talking about. I just know you cut some foam into squares and maybe you glue it onto the wall, but we'll get, I'll Google it. We'll it's give it the a egg go. crates. Yeah, the egg crates. Yeah, 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 yeah. How hard could, it, could that be? I'm not a professional, and this is the thing. We want this done professionally this time. You go down to Mattress Firm, you buy some toppers, and you glue them to the wall. Is that really what that is? <laughs> no, oh. no, no, no. It looks like it, though. I bet you it's probably not that different of a material. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. A so, dense Tempur-Pedic material? A dense Tempur-Pedic Let material. me ask you a question. You ever sleep in a Tempur-Pedic? Do you have one? Yeah. You, ever, you have one? Currently, yes. Okay, I have one. I've been a Tempur-Pedic fellow for quite some time now. Yes. Possibly 20, 20 years, possibly. Right? Yes. Did you ever see the commercial where they put a glass of red wine in a, st a stemmed glass of red many wine? Many times. Okay, many times. And then they jump on it and then yes. it stays right where it is. It's what sold me on the mattress. To begin with. Is that I could fall asleep with a glass of wine <laughs> and not knock it Have over. Have you ever tried it? No, no. It, it seems insane. It seems me. insane, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you done it? I feel like I have, but I don't remember, so I don't want to say that I have. But something like that wouldn't get past me normally. <laughs> I mean, you could always just fill a glass of water in a fill a wine glass with water and then you could just try it you know sometimes sometimes i feel like you are ignorant and dense and i sometimes i feel like you uh you know are not like a particular ignorant and dense person but i mean I just, I just feel sometimes i have these emotions toward you as is the nature of our show and then sometimes you just blow my mind <laughs> <laughs> and for 20 years, I didn't think to put water in a, in a, in a wine glass and do that. I, I got to be honest. I, it didn't hit me till right now. Uh, for whatever reason, yeah. I just finally realized you, you don't have to put wine in to the glass. So here's what's going <laughs> to happen tonight. Yeah. Here's what's going to happen tonight, okay? When we retire here, when you get home and I'm home, you're going to call me. We're going to get a stemmed wine glass. We're going to put water in it. We're going to put it on our beds, get okay. on our beds together, on, and we're going to... <laughs> And we're going to selfie video this and jump up and down, and we're going to test it out simultaneously. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I, I, let's try it. Let's try it. We Now, let me I say I would love this. to get a vote here, actually. V, can you put up on, um, on the Taste Bud site, uh, if, you know, just word it in a way like, if we put a glass of red wine on a Tempur-Pedic mattress and jump up and down, how many of you think, and they're just like, it would spill. It would not spill. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me say this. Big shout outs to Tempur-Pedic. <laughs> I had Tempur-Pedic. I love Tempur-Pedic. All through my time in Los Angeles. And that what, was my first Tempur-Pedic. And you put that mattress to good use out there. <laughs> yes. <There you> go. <laughs> and then I moved back here. And when I moved back here. In the New York groove. I switched from Tempur-Pedic. To a certain bed brand that oh, no. involves a number. Oh, okay. I don't want to say the name because I hate the bed so much. It's the blank, the the num the number bed. You want to call yeah. it the blank number bed? Yeah. Or the, blank the sleep number. blank bed. The sleep blank bed. Okay. Or the blank number bed. Yeah. I hate it. You just don't want anyone to know what we're talking about. I hate it. It doesn't. I don't think it works. I heard Big J sing its praises. Big J and Christine, I heard that he's, he's firm, she's soft, and they could coexist. I, you know, there's. I have a theory about that. Jay is... You have a theory about Jay and Christine's mattress? Why Jay likes that bed. Okay, please. He's white trash. <laughs> and, 
I'm not sure if he would deny it, but <laughs> he wouldn't. I he think, would fully agree with me. I, I think I I think Jay is scholarly. The stu- the t- <laughs> I really do. He's a very smart guy. He is a smart guy. You think trash can't be smart? Oh, I guess you're right. Have you ever heard of a blue collar philosopher? You know, I, like name one, a, like a Charles Bukowski. Oh, yeah, guy was brilliant. He called, he was they garbage. called him blue collar. He was a beatnik. Yeah. <laughs> Not no Bukowski. He was a drunk. He was a drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he yeah. was smart. Yeah, he's smart. <laughs> but a drunk doesn't mean you're trash. I would go as far as to say Bukowski might have been a little. You think all drunks are trash? Well, I don't think of myself as trash, but uh, you know, uh, yeah. uh, you know, uh, no, I, I'm kidding. I think What's your favorite Bukowski? I, I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Bukowski? What the hell does that mean? Charles Bukowski. Yeah. What's my favorite Bukowski? Uh, yeah. What do you mean? Like book? If you took a wild guess, what do you think? Book. I've never what? read any of them. Oh, okay. Have you read Bukowski's book? I've read a couple. I never read any of them. Back it up. <laughs> Thank you. Are they good? Uh, yes. But I saw the movie he has Barfly. A very particular s- style. What's that? I saw the movie Barfly. <laughs> okay. Where Mickey Rourke played him. Okay. Yeah, I remember that one from the and early I, '80s. Yeah, and I watched the documentary about him. He, I remember seeing it as a kid, wild. and I didn't know it was about Charles Bukowski. Actually. Um. Anyway, I'm kidding about Jay being trash. I used to but, date, I used to date someone that was a Bukowski fan. Okay, and I got them a first edition of one of his books autographed. Okay, I thought that was nice. What was that worth? It was I. It was a. It was a, like hundreds. Oh, were, that's it. There were different levels of. I thought that'd be like ten thousand dollars or something. No, I think his his autograph is out there. Okay. Well, did did she appreciate it? Well, I didn't say it was a she. I actually regretted that I didn't do the what's his name. Yeah. But uh, yes, I believe she did. All right. This was it's a hell of a this gift. This was moons ago, though. Moons. It's a hell of a gift. We, we got off track. What were we talking about right I was that? making a joke that, that Jay, Jay was, was trash. trashy. Talk, was, tell me your theory. I was, bed, please. I was joking. There was, my, that was my whole theory was Jay's trash. <laughs> he, okay. so he likes the, the bed that you can buy at the mall. Uh, that's all. I was just <laughs> okay. making, I was going to make a joke about that. Right. But, it, but no, the bed. In my opinion, first of all, mine stopped working. Oh, shit. I said the real name. I said I didn't want to do that. Well, just be bleep it. it. Stevie, bleep it, babe. Oh, Stevie, baby. Stevie. We, got, oh, we, got, we didn't no, talk I, about Stevie. I, I was biding my time. I we, know. Steve's we're gonna first bleep. A, we're going to hit you with a real humdinger here. Steve, Steve's first I mean, bleep. I guess now's the time to do it then. Just bleep. Welcome to the Bleep Everything Joe Says podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Happy to be here. You think I'm bad. You weren't here when Tommy Pope was here. No, dear I was not. Lord, it was no it pun was, intended, it was right? every other word yeah. had to be bleeped. It was crazy. He's so funny. I saw um, a short film that him and Joe listed. Did you see that one? No, I heard it's really funny. Oh, it's so great. They're they're both so really funny. good in it. Um, so anyway, City duty was that the one? Yes, yeah. it was. So Steve Chacon. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just finish about the bed real quick. Wow, this is what he's going to do on your first ever mention. <laughs> no, because, because we're never going to get it done, and then okay. this is what happens. Let's hold All on. I was gonna say let's is, hold is, on. A big part of the podcast. My remote stopped working. Oh, and I've is it a remote like a hospital bed where it's like has the wire? I think the cheap one has that. No, okay. mine was full Top of the line. wild Bluetooth remote. And then also, after a while, it just started to feel like you were on a glorified air mattress. I'm not a fan of the bed. I also got the no, split I like side. I got the split side thing. Like, I sleep fine on I have one in New It's been New York. But here's the thing. When I bought my his nows. When went, you bought your what? My his nows. My house. My his house. <laughs> All right. Wait, where did the N come from? I just couldn't remember how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's his house. I couldn't remember his nows. I couldn't remember. It you was said a when I when I got my his nows. Yeah, I, said, I, I well, understand. You said I made nows. a mistake. All right. uh, so I had to, you know, because I still have my apartment in New York. So I kept the sleep number bed in New York. And I went when I bought the bed for the house. I went back to Tempur Pedic. Wow, and it's the best decision I've ever made in my wow. life. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we stand tempur And that is the bed tonight that I will be jumping on with a glass of That's the one. water wine. So, we, uh, listen, this is the first time they could actually do something wrong. If that thing goes down, its marketing was no good. But I will tell you, 
I will tell there's you. There's no way these glasses are going to tip over. There's no way. There's no way, right? There's no way. I'd be willing to, to do it on my side. Now, of the here's bed the thing, too. Go you might it. have a higher end Tempur-Pedic than I do. That might play into it, too. The, well, there's a whole suite of Tempur-Pedic beds, mattresses, and now they have the cool, and they have the soft, and the firmness, and that. I love them so much. I went from one Tempur-Pedic to another, and then I got my parents' Tempur-Pedics. Those are two different households there. And I got my grandmother a tempur I got five tempur in the family. <laughs> so, Steve Chacon. Yes, sir. Welcome. Steve, listen. All right. Here's what would here's as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, um, Homeless Pimp uh has moved on from the podcast. We love him, we wish him well. He's got a bunch of projects in the pipeline and yes. all good things, you know, come to an end. And uh, you know, we 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 wish him well. And so we now have to go forward with uh a new team player here. And after a bunch of consideration, we have netted out with Steve Chacon. And I'm looking at you, Steve, and I'm I'm really getting to know Steve really right now as well, uh, to a certain extent. I we really ha- don't have any history together. Yeah. And you will yeah. be now sp- I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours yeah. of conversations with us. Chris, Chris, you came to us through Chris the pig, <laughs> the Stefano. He recommended you highly. Then a T has sent a message to all of us. I think it said, if you hire that scumbag, I'll walk. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did it anyway. Uh, <laughs> we don't know where it came from. Um, anyway, we're all here. Yeah, V's we, over we there. We Steve's we over don't there. We don't know what you guys, what the issues you guys have are, but we, we will get into it the at some table point. Wasn't right. big enough. I would have said it. Now, <laughs> Steve, you you have informed me that you are a comedy fan, and previously you were a fan of was it. Both. I got Both the pods. I got the God bless right on the, on the you laptop. Got, you there. have stickers from the pod. Yeah. Right on there. Yeah. Well, no, not from the pod. That's your. Well, that's, that's your thing. Oh, but God it, bless is my, my God thing, bless yeah. is my solo merch. You have yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get that? Just went to your store and got it. You're kidding me. I'm buddy. a fan. I'm a fan, guys. I was a fan of Chris before get, I started working with him. Do you believe he asked this question? How did you get my merch that I put out for sale? How do you think he got well, it? I, I, didn't, I didn't suspect that he went and purchased it properly. Yeah. I, Look, I, I, give I wouldn't feel them. special. The kid's got New York Comedy Club stickers on there, too. That's true. Yeah, I, I, I work there as well. <laughs> well you'll have, he'll have a word with you later. No, I'm yeah, kidding. Let me get a Joey Rose's sticker on <laughs> they're, they're my favorite. Yeah, I love those guys. I'm just joking, obviously. I make, I make fun of the ones I love. That's the Jay's White thing. Trash. All right. That's the coolest thing. You purchased that sticker. Yep. I feel honored. Yeah. Uh, what size shirt are you? Uh, small. All right. I'm going to hook you up. All right. I'm thank gonna you. I'm going to hook you up with some shirts. Yeah, appreciate I don't that. want to be presumptuous, but we'll get you around the shirts from all the pods and some solo stuff. A small. How's that make you feel? It made me feel bad about myself. Oh, I I already felt bad. I can't I feel can, any worse. If you want to do a medium, if it makes you feel better, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, because you know, maybe I'm a it'll medium. Shrink. It'll shrink, yeah. pre-shrunk. I deal in very good materials. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> listen, you were a fan of the pod, so you understand where we came from, what we are, what we do here. You know, pimp. You fan of pimp, probably. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. You know this the the kind of vibe that we cultivated here and we're passing the torch along to you i gotta tell you i feel a tremendous positive energy from you i feel very Good. positive Good. energy from uh from you it, as it's well. emanating off of you you're, yes. you're wearing a smile right now and it's a it's a it's a if i might say so myself it is a very nice smile it's a nice smile. It's a killer smile. You got a good jaw. You got good some, facial you got hair. Good chompers. And you, you go with a, a mustache. With, uh, you, uh, did you notice this? Not to steal your thunder. I, I kind of shaved this off for now. I was going mustache prominent, which I was about to say. Your mustache forward, even though you have some, yeah, some shadow. Yeah, that's the only thing that grows oh, the, the best. Oh, your beard shorter. I thought you just I shaved had, it to nothing. It's just growing back now. Oh, okay. I First thought you time just in had trimmed 12, it down. 12 years. 12 years. Yeah, and you, you look even, good without it. I thought notice. you just trimmed it down. There's still a full beard on your face. No, there's not. This is a, a half George Michael at best. I mean, <laughs> for you, maybe, but I'm telling you, for a guy like me, that's a full beard. For a guy like you, what kind of guy are you? I'm saying if I had that much hair on my face, I would consider myself bearded. That's no. what I'm saying. No, V. You think I have a beard right now? A little one. This is like this but is. That's not, there's no such thing as a little beard. It's a beard or it's not a beard. If not, it's just stubble. It's a beard. Wow. Yeah, it's a beard, buddy. It's a beard. You got a beard. I'm Tomorrow sorry. Tomorrow will definitely be a beard. Maybe it's a stub. You're right. Now I'm looking a little closer. Yeah, look at. This. I understand. Compared comments to in the comments. Yes. Yeah, what you think this is before. a beard or a stub? I would go stub. Yeah, I would too. Stub. That's bad. The, the that's mustache nuts. is a little thicker, but the yeah, the, the, the mustache I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, listen, where are you from, Steve? Long Island. Ridge. Yeah. What part? Uh, Lake Ronkonkoma. Oh, 
Lake Juan Concoma, oh, Ron, Ron Concoma, bro. I can't believe you're from there. So Isn't I drove that Beach Boy song. Kokomo? <laughs> that, those are tropical islands. Wow. This is Long Island. That wasn't about Long Island. A little Island. place like Ronkonkoma. <laughs> I like it. Ronka, so I went up to Montauk this past weekend, and I passed the Ronkonkoma. Ronkonkoma. Yeah. Ronkonkoma sign going and coming. And besides Schenectady, Ronkonkoma is my favorite town. Is city? Yeah. In... It's my favorite name. I, I, I mean, you say Ron Konkuma, no matter where you are, you can't be upset saying Ron Konkuma. No, it's fun. fun to <laughs> and say. I love asking people. Like I would sometimes we would on the show ask people, you ever get up to Ron Konkuma? <laughs> because it's just so much fun. So you've gotten to say I'm from Ron Konkuma your whole life. Yeah. And is it pleasurable or by now are you like, I can't take saying I'm because because the people that don't know Ron Konkuma are like what? Yeah. Or the people that you know what I mean? Like, are they like, well, where, do people ask you how, what's Ron Konkuma? I think they, they, they're familiar because the last stop on the L-I-double-R stop that so stops there. at Ronkonkoma. Yeah, yeah. So if you fall asleep on the train drunk, you'll wind up in Ronkonkoma. I never heard of it till today. It's a magical place where yeah. drunks wake up. <laughs> yep. <How? laughs> it sounds like it's so far from here. It is. I think it's like like six, 70 miles, something like that. What was it like growing up Jesus in Ronkonkoma? Jesus God. There was some bad, you know, suburbs. It was fun. Same. Yeah. High I hear this too? commitment. Yeah. Don't glaze over the commitment. The kid is traveling 70 miles to No, be that's here. not where you live now. Yeah. Steve. Yeah, I, I moved back from L.A. in 2010, so I'm back in Ronkonkoma. Oh, so you're coming from Ronkonkoma when you come here? Yeah. Oh, babe. Yeah. This <laughs> is, uh, I'm doing it for the babes. <laughs> this is dedication. <laughs> Absolutely. I had no idea. That's a... Yeah. I mean, depending on when we do it, too, you got to hit the... You got to hit the belt. Yeah. No, buddy, you can't do that. I'm doing it, babe. If, we'll see. If, I'll set, when this is set up, if you ever need to crash here, you can. Oh, no. Dude, that's I offer fine. To, yeah. He needs to crash. I might need to crash here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Steve Chacon from Ronkonkoma. <laughs> Steve from Ronkonkoma. Right. First time, long time. Yep. There he is, Steve from Ronkonkoma. <laughs> um, I, I am excited to have you. Uh, it's cool that you know the show and that you're a fan of the show because you'll fold right in. Yeah. You obviously then know Venetia, mm -hmm. our diamond in yep. the rough over yep. here, right? Yes. And, uh, and you're with Chris on his other pod now. Uh no, uh, so I, I tour manage with him. Oh, you tour, right, you yeah. tour manage. Right, yeah. right. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. And so my manager, Emilio, Emilio yep. New York Comedy Club proprietor, yep. uh, is very, you know, you guys have done stuff together. Oh, sure. He, yeah. I mean, yeah. I manage at the club as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So he, uh, he spoke very highly of you to me on New Year's Eve when I saw him. Awesome. Yeah, he spoke the best. highly on New Year's Eve. <laughs> doing, How was your New Year's Eve, by the way? It was good. Good. It was relaxed. It's with some good company, small group. And I realize, Steve, Sal asked you many more questions about yourself than I did. I'm going to keep going. I don't, <laughs> I don't at, mix dude? with the help. Yeah. Where are we at? The, <laughs> what? Come on. Nothing right. on that? I'm sorry. I was just, I wanted to make sure we were at. So talk, I didn't hear it. You can't talk over a mean joke like that. <laughs> Do it again. Start. Do it again. I'll make believe I didn't. I, didn't I said, <laughs> all right, retake. Ready? Yeah. Steve. Yeah. I realize I didn't ask you as many questions about you as Sal did, but I don't, I don't mix with the help. <laughs> All right, as, you, as you're wearing whatever jacket that is you like this jacket a twill tweed what is that you got a large collar up top it's a scotch and soda babe oh a scotch Ooh, and soda my favorite brand that's, for little, that's nice that's a little scottish got old. yeah do you like this jacket can you stand up yeah i got it i bought it for myself oh my god it's a three-quarter length it's a three-quarter length that you got on with with some gray denim right now and a t-shirt the t-shirt under a three-quarter length twill overcoat is bold well that wasn't the outfit it's mm. just it's freezing in here because right. i don't something's wrong with you yeah. you know we can close it we, we, we can close it we can close it the uh uh, <laughs> uh but then wait, i figured wait, wait, i'll take this off and then the next how long episode. are you doing that jacket since December 24th, I bought it on Christmas Eve. This is a new jacket because I, I haven't seen it. I went, I needed a new a Christmas Eve purchase. Pico. It has a special beginning. This isn't a peacoat, but my peacoat has on its last legs. I needed a peacoat no, style jacket. I got two peacoats. And I went to the mall with my dear friend, Jim Pinkstone on Christmas Eve. As you do. Morning. A oh, Pinkstone's known for Christmas Eve. Shopping. Oh yeah. And we, uh, and we bought a few things. And one of the things I bought was this coat. Sale full price, full price. Don't but, say it, but reasonably priced. Okay, I wish you wouldn't even said that. Why? Because I like to play games, and I'm about to play a guessing game on your coat. I would never say the price on air. Uh, 
You're saying the price on that. No, no, it's no. a coat. You bought a coat. You're an adult. You have a job. It was New Year's Eve. It's a nice coat. Because You're allowed to buy that. Why would you never say the price on it? Was it a forty thousand dollar coat? You guessed it. You hit it right <laughs> on the head. <laughs> we're all gonna take guesses, and whoever comes, okay, this is what we're doing. Okay, wait, V. I have a scratch off in my bag right there. Okay, can you uh, and the top and the front pouch of that backpack right there? I got a couple of lottery tickets and uh, right, real ones and two scratch offs that I never checked. So we be sitting on billions. Um, top front, <laughs> top, top front, top. Is that the top? Top front, yeah, top front. And so wait, right, right, right in there somewhere is probably a scratch off and some some lottery tickets. Yeah. So how does this tie into? Boom, boom, okay. okay. Well, first things first. We'll take the lottery tickets. We'll put them on the side. I'll have someone look these up uh, eventually because this is just to build tension. Because we may be, we may be multi, multi, multi we I okay. may be, but I, you guys, you guys will, you guys will benefit. Okay. Okay. But here, here are these three. So we have three. We're gonna play guessing games throughout this one. The first guessing game is closest to your coat. Don't worry about going over. Just closest to your coat. Whoever wins out what of the, the three. What do the tickets do with this though? I don't understand. Well, whoever gets closest gets a scratch off. Oh, it gets the prize. You, you got to just connect the dots a little faster right. today. I mean, I don't. I have no chance of winning the prize. Though. No, not at all. <laughs> but but you, you do. Well, for this particular question, you cannot win the prize. You know the price. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. All right. This is just we're, we're having group fun now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Steve. I, by the way, before today or before the next couple of weeks, I will have five hundred nicknames for you. <laughs> just know that. Okay. All right. What, is, I'm, what, I'm is, what is Chris, Chris mentioned? Steve. Steve Ciccone. Riceroni. Yeah. Riceroni. Ciccone. Uh, Riceroni. Ciccone. Stevie Pedals. Uh, Why Stevie Pedals? <laughs> just driving to the next city. Oh, <laughs> car pedals. <laughs> yeah. I don't call. You call them pedals. No. I guess, oh yeah, it's the I gas guess pedal. pedal. Yeah, pedal to the metal. Yeah, I guess yeah. I just don't call them. I don't. I don't know. I don't think yeah. of pedals on cars. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's let's get the guessing going. All right. Um, do you want to say them out loud, or do you want to just write them? Like, what do you want to do here? Oh, that's a good idea. I can say. Do we all have our numbers and just? Be I honest? got a number. I got a number. Okay, cool. Be honest. I got a number. Okay. okay. All right. I, I, I'll have a uh, riceroni chicone lead it off. And, and we're. And we're saying it. We can say it. You're going to say it. I'm going to go with 650, Bob. Whoa. Wow. Ron Conk, we're going yeah, high. That's how, yeah. Ron Conk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can we, you know what? I should have asked this first. Can, we, can I get a, a material, please? Oof. No, I think that's not fair because Steve guessed I'll let him happens. guess again. It looks like a wool. I think yeah, we have a guess. Oh, yeah. What's his type? Some type of wool there, 100%. You didn't even. You don't even know. You don't know what you're wearing. You have I it draped all over your body. I assumed it was wool. It's got a very nice. Let's. Yeah, can you? Just, can we see the inner? Yeah. It's a nice lining. And it's there. lined all the way. This satiny material. It's lined all the way down the sleeves. Oh, that's very nice. Which which was a big plus. And for that's me. three. And where do you see yourself wearing this? I'm just day to day. Day to day. Yeah. You're gonna make that a day. That's gonna become your casual day to day. This is road. replacing my pea coat that was on wow. its way out. Wow. Yeah. A three quarter length at all times. You know what? You know what? Can I tell you a little story? I mean, that's we were standing in the department reporters store. Reporters do that only. I think. We were standing in the department store where I purchased this, and I said, I said, I think this could replace my pea coat as my day to day. And my friend Jim said, Jim Pinkstone. Yeah. He said, I don't know, man. That's kind of a flashy pattern. I don't think that's a day-to-day. -day. And I said, why can't it be? And he said, all right. <laughs> it's 2024, babe. Why can't a flashy pattern be the day-to-day? -day? I don't think it's that flashy. I think what puts it over the top is three-quarter length. Yep. Is it double-breasted? What does that mean again? Yeah, buttons across. It, yeah. It is, like a peacoat. Yes. Okay. So it's quite warm. It is quite warm. Okay. But also you strangely light. Yeah. It's versatile. Yeah, it's between saying. the it's raindrops. Yeah. You staying with 650? I'm going to stay with 650. 650 staying. Come on. My number is 300. 300. Okay. okay. Less than half. I was going to say 300. Okay. And where are you from originally? <laughs> I'm from the city. <laughs> what city? In New York. New York in, City. Yeah, New York City. Proper. Correct. Okay. We got Ron Conklin in New York City. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Grew up on the Upper West and in Queens. There you yeah. go. I'm going to go with, th my original guess was 395. Ooh. I think 300 was, I feel like they don't do rounds numbers like that. But anyway, no big deal. I'm saying 395. <laughs> um, uh, and, and did you charge this? No, I paid. I mean, I used my debit card, but no, I did oh, not charge it. I paid, I paid for it outright. That, that, that coat's paid for now. 
It's paid for. You don't walk it. You don't owe nothing on that coat. I wouldn't have done it. I'm trying to be careful with the charges. Okay, excellent. I love it for 2024. Yeah. Always, always. I've got myself into trouble in, in years past, and uh, I tried to really be responsible about it. Would you buy like a whole bunch of coats? <laughs> I bought. <laughs> I don't know what I bought. <laughs> to be honest, I bought a lot of stuff. All right. I would uh, agree you got yourself the trouble charging up just a ton of three quarter length coats. Yeah, yeah. Whole whole closet full. All right. You got a drum uh, roll. Are we all? Are any of us in the ballpark? Yeah. Is any? Are any of us very close? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got news for you. Yeah. Three fifty. Whoa! Wow. Right in the middle. Oh, wow. Wow. wow! Right in the middle. I almost said three fifty. Well, I almost went low, but you said a lot. So three ninety five. So forty five away. You're fifty away. I'll tell you why. You win. I'll tell you why. You win. <laughs> We're coming off a fresh holiday season. You take one of those right now. You scratch it <laughs> off live on the air. Okay. If you win, which whatever, which one is it? You're gonna do <laughs> one for life. Okay. How about this? If you win for life, we split it. Sounds great. Uh, but the other half's yours. <laughs> Steve, right. I want you with a win for life ticket in your hand by the end of this. <laughs> Folks, there's a big stressor out there, and it's called erectile dysfunction. It just stresses people out. It's something that people find very awkward to address or to talk about. And that is why Hims is here to help. Okay? Real talk, 52% of men over the age of 40 experience some form of ED, that's erectile dysfunction, between the ages of 40 and 70. But it's always been taboo, as I said. Thankfully, Hims is changing that by providing affordable access to ED treatment all online. You can be confident in the office, you can be confident at the dinner table, you can be confident on that dance floor. Uh, keep it going. The confidence, you're going to keep it going to where? To back to the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? With HIMSS, you can get access to medications to ensure your ED gets treated. So you can keep the confidence going all day long. Do you hear what I'm saying, people? Do you see the theme here? I know that you do. Anyway, Hims is changing men's health care by providing this access. Again, it's affordable. It is discreet for sexual health treatments, and it's all done from where? The comfort of your couch, okay? They are gonna provide you with clinically proven generic alternatives to Viagra and Cialis up to 95% cheaper with options as low as $2 per dose. The process is simple. Again, it's 100% online, and there are no uncomfortable doctor's visits. It's all discreet. There's no insurance needed. That's it. Here's how you do it. You're going to start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash taste buds. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash taste buds for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns.com slash taste buds. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Folks, let's talk about factors ready to eat meals that make eating every day easier and even better. Why? Because they're delicious, they're convenient, they're fast, and they are affordable. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to where your front door. You're going to have over 35 different options a week to choose from with Factor, including keto options, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. Thank you, Factor. So what are you waiting for, folks? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. These are two-minute meals, so you can fuel up fast with Factor's restaurant-quality goods, snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. You're going to sign up and save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So head to Factor Meals dot com slash taste buds five zero and use code taste buds five zero to get 50 percent off your first box and two free wellness shots per box while subscription is active okay that's code taste buds five zero at factor dot com slash taste buds five zero to get 50 percent off your first box and two free wellness shots per box while subscription is active this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Taste Buds, sponsored by BetterHelp. Well, here's the thing with BetterHelp. They're fantastic. Why? Let's talk about relationships, for example. 
one of the relationships in my life that I'm most proud of is my relationship with my parents. And it is a complicated relationship. And the reason I am so proud of that relationship is because there were turbulent times in that relationship. And what did I do and what did my parents do in order to try to improve that relationship and navigate those turbulent times? We went to therapy individually and together. I'm not kidding. I'm not making that up. We did it. We did the work and it made our lives and our lives with each other even better. And that's, that's the kind of thing therapy can do for you, okay? The common misconception about relationships is that they're, they're supposed to be easy, and if they're easy, then they're right. And that's not the truth. Sometimes great relationships can happen when both people put in the work to make them right, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Better help can help you do that. If you're thinking about therapy, Give BetterHelp a try, okay? I've benefited from this, and I want to tell you that whether or not you've been in therapy, okay, uh, it can really be the thing for you, okay? There are great benefits to this. Uh, it's, it's, it's not just allowing you to work on the relationships with others, but it's, it's allowing you to work on the relationship with yourself, and that is going to lead to an easier and better relationship with others. And again, a relationship ain't always easy. It takes work sometimes, and there's nothing wrong with that. Better help can help, okay? So become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit betterhelp.com slash taste buds today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash taste buds. Folks, do you like to chill and relax? Do you like to be calm? Do you want to get rid of that soreness? Do you want to sleep easier? Well, the folks at Mood have some things, some products you might want to look into, all right? Social THC, all right? That social THC high, you can get. How? By using Mood's euphoric, social, or erotic products, all right? Uh, Sal is a big fan of Mood, um, and he's a big fan of it for many reasons. Number one, it's federally legal THC, which is great. Uh, and now they're adding their most potent product yet to the lineup, introducing hemp-based THCA flower, the future of legal THC. Try to get it along with Mood's other amazing offerings like their gummies and their vape cartridges and more. They've got all kinds of stuff. And for a limited time, Mood is giving listeners a free THCA pre-roll and 20% off your first order. Just visit hellomood.com and use code TASTEBUDS. Um, Sal has told me uh, that he finds Mood's products quite calming, as I said, and they help greatly with the chill and the relax, or the chillax, if you will say. And I like their products because they calm him down, quite frankly, people. You've seen what I deal with on this show. It's nice to have him a little, you know. Uh, anyway, he, he has said socially, whether that is hanging out with one other person or in a group of people, he's enjoyed it quite, quite, quite a bit. Um, since the TH... CA, by the way, converts into THC when you heat it, you can get access to that classic marijuana high. And Mood also has 10 high-inducing strains, the which is, you know, the most potent they've ever offered, okay? Mood puts an end to the guessing games also with federally legal, again, that's really important, federally legal forms of THC extracted from hemp plants. All of their products are regularly third-party tested in drug enforcement agency registered labs. And they're sourced from small family farms and grown organically. So anyway, try Mood's new THC flower today. And for 20% off your first order and a free THCA pre-roll, go to hellomood.com and use promo code TASTEBUDS. That's H-E-L-L-O-M-O-O-D.com, hellomood.com. Use code TASTEBUDS for 20% off your first order and a free THCA pre-roll. Um, <laughs> we should start the battle. We should. Let's go for it, baby. Yeah. Uh... We are battling today. We wanted to come out of the gate. Well, actually, we don't know if this will be the first episode or not back, but if it, it probably should be at this point because we're meeting Steve and everything. So we wanted to uh, really kick things off with a bang. And I suggested this battle earlier. V looked it up. We found out that it is an ongoing battle amongst the people uh, of this great country of ours. 
it's already it's already ha has it already has its own yeah history and i said well then that's great so I agreed it is, it is triscuits, triscuits versus wheat thins. thins triscuits versus wheat thins uh i I am team Triscuits. Of course I am. Of course of he's course team Triscuits. Of course I'm team Triscuits. Triscuits. Can I Sal is team Wheat Thins. Wheat thins. And let's get it popping. You know what? We haven't done it in a while. Let's do it no matter what happens. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Good to see you okay. again. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. No, no matter what happens, happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. Time to B A T T L E Buds. All right. Team Triscuits, what were you just going to ask me? You were going to ask me a real snotty little question no, about Triscuits. I was going to ask, where does the name Triscuit come from? We, 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 we rec realized before it's a play on biscuit, but what's T R I? What's the try? Trist. No, that's all right. <laughs> Can we get a etymology on Triscuits? I'm guessing Tris that it's try, like try meaning meaning three types of grain or whatever. Like you know. Okay, well let's find out. Yes, that's what it is. It yes. is. Wow, and that was a guess. Yes, that was a guess. Yes, uh, maybe that new coat has superpowers. It's elevated me. Yeah, but wait, but I, what I don't understand is why, why the it's play so on the word biscuit. It's, yeah. it's from. You're right about the three, but it's a reference to the three ingredients used, wheat, oil, and salt. That's it. Okay. Is that all they do? Wheat? No, that's not true. That's why it's a tremendous If I had cracker. a bunch of wheat here with oil and salt, I couldn't make a Triscuit. It's, it says it is reference to the three ingredients used. That's what it Just says. wheat germ? That's it? So, I'm, first of all, easy with your wheat. I'm wheat thin. If anyone's taking over the wheat market, it's myself. Brother, first of all, ain't nothing thin about wheat thins except the, the fact that the cracker is, is skinny. So everything there about is, it? it, it so everything about it. it? Is there... Is so there, everything about the wheat thin is thin? Is there, outside of the Ritz, which it tastes good, but is a disgrace to crackers. Don't bring the Ritz into this. <laughs> the Ritz is a disgrace cracker. Outside of the Ritz... I don't believe it is. Is there another cracker that undercuts cracker more than a wheat thin? I mean, yeah, it Triscuit. is... It tastes like you're eating M and M's. They are so sweet. Wait, you're going on on a wheat thin's taste? Yeah, they're too sweet. Yo, you're gonna be. You're alone. You're, Sal, you're on too an island sweet. alone on this. They're too sweet. Sweet. Wheat thins are too wheat sweet. Thin. A, a, you have a, a standard flavored wheat thin, and that's too sweet. sweet. V, give me a sugar added sugar count on wheat thins, please. Regular. Also, give me an, give me a, if you can and uh, how many. Flavors does wheat thin have, and how many flavors does Triscuit have? Give, give us a nutrition facts well, comparison, actually. So, for the sugars in one serving is 2.61 uh, grams in of <laughs> wheat thins. For wheat thins. How many <laughs> added sugars? 2.61 is nothing. All right. <laughs> Still something. How many in Triscuits? <laughs> in Triscuits, it is. I don't think they have. Well, any. It, it shouldn't be any, right? It's salt. That's what I'm. Salt, oil, and. There shouldn't be sugar in crackers. Crackers don't need sugar. That's yeah, the, they don't have it. Thank you. Oh, is that no why sugar. they is that why they taste like uh, packing foam? Yeah. yeah. Please. Outside Please. of a grape nut and a shredded mini wheat, the wheat then is the worst. The Triscuit, the, you mean? The, sorry, the Triscuit is the worst textured edible. It's an amazing product texture. I've ever tasted. It. it feels like you're putting a wicker chair in your mouth. It's an amazing texture. The wheat thin. Against a, I mean, I'm sorry. The the Triscuit against a piece of cheese is marvelous. It's marvelous. And I, here's what's great about a Triscuit. It's a little bit fun cracker nostalgia because you get it still in that grocery aisle and all that stuff. But it's it's an elevated cracker. It has a little class to it. It's a little refined. A wheat thin is is for it's for children. The wheat thin. It's for children. It's it's a cracker that a child can eat because it tastes like sugar. It tastes like sugar, and you know that it does. You know that it does. You are, are you telling me I'm not wrong? Are you wild. telling me a wheat thin doesn't taste like I, a graham I never cracker? Heard anyone say it tastes that. like a graham cracker. No, it does not. And that just shows me you don't really know anything about wheat thins, do you? BS. You know, how, when was the last time you bought or had a wheat thin? When? B a year ago? A year ago you had a wheat thin. Yeah. And a year ago you went, this feels too sweet for me. Yes. At 2.6 sugars in an entire serving, you felt that that was too sweet. I have picked them off the shelf when I am hosting a party and put them back and said, it, I'm not you doing this. You know could use a gallon of sugar? A Triscuit. Again, it feels like you're eating an Easter basket, okay? It's terrible. It is dry. It breaks up in your mouth like it's brittle and Like a stale. cracker is supposed no, to? No, like it's brittle, <laughs> like it's 
<laughs> brittle and stale. No one, I've never ever met a person who liked the Trisket. No, oh, that's bull I swear to you, I've never seen Steve beep it. <laughs> I've never seen a Trisket in someone's home in, in the wild. I've only seen Triscuits. You've been to my home. You've seen them. I got a I got a box of Triscuits in my cupboard steadily. Steadily. No, you don't. I got one in both of my homes right now <laughs> in the cupboard. Sorry, guys. $350 three quarter length wool coat, two homes, and he doesn't speak to the help. Okay. <laughs> and he eats Triscuits. And I throw Triscuits, triscuits around like it's nothing. for the better half. Yeah. Right? <laughs> If Triscuits, you're saying box. if Triscuits and Wheatons were on the Titanic, you're taking the Triscuits off, you're leaving the Wheatons on the Titanic. Yep. You know, on, honestly, Joe, Triscuit is in the same family as a grape nut, as a mini shredded No, meat. that's not true. It, it is. It's, it's, it's not it's, true. It's as if rattan became edible. It's a, okay? It is a substantial it is disgusting. cracker. It is a substantial cracker. It's like eat. It's, it's, it's got the sustenance of like almost like a bread. Or something. It's a Show, heavy. Is, is it a cracker? Is it a bread? Is it a biscuit? I'm saying it's what got the that? sustenance of a of a bread. The, the balls on the trisket to use the c u i t at the end to even put itself in the same sentence as a biscuit. A biscuit is one of God's greatest creations. Well, remember that when you battle me. On I it. will because All there's right. another creation that's better than a biscuit. <laughs> but right. a biscuit is something that the, the, the trisket was so bad it was like what is an undeniable thing that everyone loves that 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 I can just I could just attach myself to that might give me some goodwill with the public because a tr I mean really I'm here's what I want you to do everybody when you go to the supermarket next I want you to hover around the cracker aisle if you can spare five ten minutes okay if anybody buys a trisket whatsoever <laughs> I mean, every time you go to the supermarket for the next month, just give five minutes to the Trisket Wheat Thin Isle, okay? If anybody picks anything up, know whether it's a Trisket or a Wheat Thin. I don't think anybody's buying a Trisket ever. I don't think you'll ever see anyone pick up a box of Triscuits at a supermarket. But if you do, note the age and please write to us at no network at gmail.com. No pressure network at gmail.com and write Trisket. Sighting, okay. I guarantee you, everyone who buys you, triscuits. You're talking like everybody's walking around with wheat thins. But bro, bro, wheat thins have crossed over. Wheat thins are like the oh, Snoop Dogg of crackers. Oh no, they even, are not. Yes, yes, they are. Even I Ritz, don't even, even Ritz, remember the last time Ritz, I saw a wheat thin even anywhere. Even Ritz, who is the the buttery powerhouse of old, has has actually taken a backseat to a wheat thin because they have come out of the gate now. How many flavors? Be? The flavors don't I mean, matter to me. You're talking the flavors don't sun matter dry to tomato. Oh, please. You're talking garlic and herb parmesan. You think Trisket doesn't have flavors? It needs it. They've got flavors. It needs it. They've got flavors. Oh, so then it has more than just salt, oil, and wheat. No, the flavored ones do. But I thought we were battling the original flavors here. I didn't know we were going into other flavors. If you dare took a bite of a Trisket without a trough of water near you? Please. You might pass. You Please. might pass on to the next life. I do it all. You're gonna get, tri you know, and it breaks into shards. You get, you get trisket shrapnel all over your trachea and esophagus. You think you don't get that with wheat thins? You know what no, I get? Wheat thins. No, wheat thins. I get has a seeds. Snap. I get seeds stuck all through my teeth with wheat thins. There are no seeds on wheat thins, ladies and gentlemen. Pull what the alarm. What are those things then? Pull the alarm. Am I wrong? Sound the siren. They're speckling on wheat thins, this, and I get it all stuck in my teeth. This should be an audit. If we were in on trial right now, it'd be a mistrial. He doesn't even. Think, he's not even battling against the wheat thin. What do you think you're battling against, buddy? A sesame stick by Stelladoro. Show us the wheat thins. The seeds. There's there are no seeds on wheat thins. There's, speckled, there's no crying in baseball. There are little, there's no seeds on there wheat There are thins. little speckled things all over the wheat thin. I thought they were seeds. I don't know what they are. There's about 23 varieties of wheat thins, and we have um, artisan cheese, Vermont white cheddar. We have chipotle. We have dill pickle. Oh, we have God. Oh, I wasn't even aware of the dill pickle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. no be, be, if he's going to be like this, let's do this, okay? <laughs> we're going to go through all the flavors of each. We'll go fast. You start with the wheat and flavors. Go ahead, and I'll, I'll make a comment on each one, and I want you to be real. Be real. Be honest. Just be honest. Go ahead. Okay. Artisan cheese. We have two. Wisconsin Kobe. We have Vermont white cheddar. We have Chipotle. We have dill pickle. Chipotle right, wait, wait, wait. is disgusting. Chipotle is my first one. I'm like, eh, dill pickle. 
Wow. No, but it's dill pickle with wheat thin flavor. It's gross. No, dude. Dill pickle potato chip is awesome. Dill pickle wheat thin flavor is dude, gross. Dude, and you think you're time, getting artisan time. cheeses in a box yeah, of these are. speckled yes, crackers? You are, right. You're out of your no, mind You're too right busy now. hung up on seeds that don't exist. You're out of your mind. Would you, do, would you take mushrooms the last time you had wheat thins? Where are you getting seeds See, from? Tell me what the speckling is on the wheat thin. Because I'm not crazy. There's like little seeds or something. That's, that's, a, that's a futile search my friend tell me what the that's speckling not. is on no, the just just pull up the picture it's the ingredients it it's probably the the the, the, the it's probably the the the, the you know flour yeah the the uh what am i, what am I whatever trying to say it is I, to, I get it all in my teeth it's probably the cheese that has been granulated and dusted i don't on. eat cheese flavored wheat then well what do you eat what is the one that you eat triscuits no but what Bitch. wheat thins did you eat that had <laughs> seeds what wheat thins did you eat the regular wheat thins have like speckled things on them that get stuck in your teeth i think that day you just didn't clean your specs yourself v, just friend. just pull up a box of wheat thins and just show us the picture and i'll point to what i'm talking about yeah, enlarge it to show texture here you go. Let's do it. I mean, I mean I'll point to what I'm talking you about. You're on a you're on a plane right now that I ran out of fuel, salt. right? Oh, oh, those salt seeds. <laughs> oh, it's oh look oh yeah it is. Look at all the fine look at all the These salt. These things. Those are divots. These things. Those are divots in the tris in the in the wheat thin. Those are divots inside. Ow. That's Ow. not a you hit your head on a thing when you yeah. sat back? <laughs> yeah. All right, that's something to look out for in the future. <laughs> Look, Go ahead. I'm giving you the floor. Would you like to talk about the seeds now? I am telling you, wheat thins have little speckled things on them. I don't like the picture you just pulled up. <laughs> the, 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 the approved wheat thins in large show, show texture. I don't even know if those are wheat thins we just looked at. Oh, you don't even know what a wheat thin is, do you? You don't even know what a wheat thin is. The, I do know what a wheat thin is. They're are too just sweet. Little holes in the cracker. All right. All right. All right, I've but if I'm going, seeds. if I'm going to battle you, they, <laughs> these battles need to be based in reality, Joe. Here's the thing: a cracker should not have any sugar in it. Period. That's that the, is not that's the purpose the, that's, of a cracker. That's at the top of your head. Cookie, you yes, a the cookie. Two point six grams of sugar in a serving is why you're going you know to throw wheat into once? the. You know what I looked up once? What's a healthy snack for brain power? I looked this up. There was a list I found on the internet. Okay. Yeah. You know, one of the, Google it, v. you know what one What's of the a healthy snack you know what one of the top suggestions was cheese and triscuits whole grain cracker with some cheese. Let's be honest, cheese is doing the heavy lifting there. <laughs> cheese is triscuit, the one. triscuit. Tr are you eating a box of wheat thins by themselves? Sometimes, please. Depends on the wheat. That's my problem with them. That's what I'm saying. That's my problem with them is because they taste like cookies. No. Oh, now they taste like cookies. Not cookies. The cookies they with taste the seeds. like. I stand by. They taste like graham crackers. They taste like a diet graham cracker. So you and you think triscuits taste like what? Like crackers. No, buddy, buddy. When you eat a saltine, a do you taste sugar? Do you taste sugar in no, a saltine? It a, it's not a sugar teen. It's a saltine. Exactly, but it 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 doesn't taste like sugary. A saltine does it Neither when you does, get the when you get the water wafer crackers, whatever they're called. They come in the black else, box, the classiest of all crackers. <laughs> they come in the long. Do you want know what I'm talking about? Which ones? Those crackers that come in the long black sleeve. Yeah. The water crackers. Yeah. The water crackers, yeah. whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah. We would agree. They're very the plain, the elegant of most elegant of all crackers. <laughs> There, they, there is nothing sweet about them. That they has, taste like a cracker. Those crackers have nothing to do with you being the only person who feels that you taste the two grams of sugar in a whole. Crackers of shouldn't be sweet. Crackers, like that. they're not crackers sweet. Crackers should they be reminiscent 20, of bread. Twenty-four savory flavors. Okay, and I, I tell you they what, I like. Em. I like. They need I <laughs> like that. Even though the wheat thin, I like that it is th thin. I love, and it has a snap to it. Oh, it has no snap. It has so. a, oh, they're, it, they're chewy. You no, stop it. they're not. You stop it. They don't have seeds and they're not Sorry, chewy my eye, and they my don't eye, taste my like. My iWatch is ringing. Oh, oh my I, God. Oh my you got the new <laughs> iWatch. I'm so sorry. And is that the highest end model? It is. I don't know. You, you, you're you putting on airs. You're coming into this new year and you're taking yeah. this whole attitude and you're putting it into yeah. the battle. I don't Here's sleep the thing, in a I understand bed. smoking I don't eat wheat thins. Yeah. I wear a nice coat and I got the eye watch and I eat Triscuits. Yeah. Well, just because you did a makeover in one week doesn't mean, look, that doesn't mean that, that Triscuits are any good, dude. 
So you're battling. You're saying, guys, let's just sum it up. He's saying wheat thins have seeds and they taste like cookies and they're mushy. Okay. I say no seeds. They have a snap and a half, if I'm being honest. They do not have a snap. And they do not taste like cookies. Okay. When you bite into a Triscuit, do you not, is it not like Black Hawk down in your mouth? Is it not like... Is there not Triscuit shrapnel just popping off all no. in there? These little, little, little. I will admit, sometimes you can weavings. get a little, you can get a little crumble. But no, I love a Triscuit. We're talking about a snap. A Triscuit's got snap, dude. A Triscuit is a firm a Triscuit piece. is the one that has a little bit of put a give in it. It has does not. It is too. It's weaved together. It does not have give. It does. A have Triscuit give. is a firm, firm cracker. <laughs> No. Oh, yes, it is. Oh god! And the a triscuit, triscuit is better for dipping and adding to because it's sugar BS isn't getting in the way. You don't even need to dip a wheat thin. Okay, you need God's help with a triscuit. Man. I gotta tell you, buddy. I hate mayo. I would. I'd have to if I had just a box. Let me tell you something right now. If if the shit really hit the fan and uh, you know something happened and I was low on rations and the only thing left was triscuits. I probably would just die to need a Triscuit. I I'm probably t- would just die peacefully. I'm telling you something, buddy. I'm telling you something right now. Sorry, I spilled a little water. I'm telling you something right now. <laughs> just pat it. Just pat it off with your hand. I am because I don't have a towel. The uh, I'm telling you something right now. You don't have a towel. Oh, man. <sighs> I'm telling you something right now. You are not supposed to eat crackers by themselves. Crackers are meant to be something that it, that is added to with something else. The problem with Wheat Thins is that you can eat them by themselves. The problem with Ritz crackers is that you can eat them by themselves. It means there's a bunch of crap in there that shouldn't be in there that's making it function more like a potato chip or something. Wheat Thins is, is doing flavors like it's potato. How many flavors does Triscuits have? Dave, if it's 2024. If your product ain't doing flavors, you don't got a product. Look, Wheat Thins does some flavor. I mean, Triscuits does some flavors. We you know what Triscuits yeah. flavors are? Let's talk about class. Let's talk about Triscuits on flavors, hold on. please. Hold on. hold on. Let's talk about class. Ready they for the some good difference flavors. in class? They, they got you some good up? flavors. Yeah. You, eat, you, 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 you mess with Triscuits? I like Triscuits, yeah. You do? Yeah. Can you please regale us with the difference in the classiness of flavors of Triscuits? <laughs> okay. You, okay, heard they the, have a- you heard the nonsense Wheat Thins was peddling. Let me, let me see. Hold on. Chipotle <laughs> was one of them. Yes, you're right. Look, look top look, of right the here. list. First, okay. Their first flavor is a wool three-quarter length coat Triscuit. <laughs> so v? there's um, cracked pepper and olive oil. Cracked pepper and olive okay, oil. Okay, so I have something and like that. And you're coming with Chipotle? Um, there's hint of salt. Hint of salt. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary. That's a, hold on, hold on, hold on, That's a hold You on. know why? God forbid they go plain. God hold on. forbid <laughs> they go plain. They would ship them off to other countries. Hold on. Um, rosemary and olive oil. Dill, sea salt, and olive oil. Dill, oh. sea salt. Oh, I love it. No. So Triscuit has a dill too, and you no. just tore dill to shreds. No. You said it tasted terrible. No, you, you know said what it doesn't Triscuit belong has, on a cracker. Sal. You said it belongs Sal. on a potato chip. No, no, no. You know what Triscuit has? Triscuit has a dill, sea salt, and oil. They do not. It's not a dill pickle flavor. And guess what? The wheat then has oil I and salt in for it. By, just by make, being a. I have news for you. If you gave me a Triscuit with a slice of dill pickle on it, I would eat it. If you gave me a wheat then with a slice of dill pickle on it, I would go gross. Those flavors don't match. Yo, you just got caught red-handed. Here. No, you what I said was in the cracker jar. What I said was you, you the missed. flavor is gross because it's mixed with wheat thin flavor. You shat on dill, and lo and behold, and also dill ain't dill pickle, bub. Dill ain't dill pickle. By the way, dill, rosemary. Dill. Rose, well, dill and dill pickle are two very different you, things. Here's what you're doing: you're taking styrofoam and you're trying to dress it up. Okay, no. they had a meeting. They said we can't just ship these out willy nilly plain. So we need to go overboard here. What would what would possibly save this? Did you just <laughs> spill a full water? No, water? I thought I did, but I didn't. It was my empty Snapple what bottle. What would possibly <laughs> save this? We need the finest of ingredients to 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 even move a unit of this stuff. That's not true. Bub, Triscuits have been hitting grand slant. Dude, you go to the cracker aisle, Sal. There's four crackers. There's four. There's four titans in the cracker aisle. Triscuits, Wheat Thins, Saltines, Ritz. Yeah. Even Townhouse is second fiddle. These are your big four. I agree. Yeah. 
Triscuits didn't need that flavors to, to play in the game. Triscuits. Triscuits has been played. Triscuits is the only cracker I've ever heard referenced in a movie. Billy Madison. Well, perhaps if you had told me there were delicious Triscuit crackers to eat in the limousine, I wouldn't be hungry right now. No, he didn't say delicious wheat thins. That's a very good argument. You heard Triscuits in the movie once, and it's, that means it's better than the rest. I'm saying I it's say a tight Triscuits, <laughs> Triscuits is at the end of the line yeah. of those. I'm saying we need a cracker to reference in Adam Sandler's first and best movie. Triscuits is and at they the end. Triscuits. Let, me ask, let me show you something, right? If I had a beautiful rattan chair right there, and I threw on some dill oil and a hint of salt, and I took a bite of it, you know what it's going to taste like? <laughs> Oh, right. It's going to taste like rattan. Okay. With oil and, and salt. And if I took and a chips away cookie and added dill pickle flavor to Nobody it, it would be disgusting. No. It would be well, disgusting. It would be. I'm saying the dill pickle flavor isn't bad. It's, it's bad because it's added to wheat thin flavor. I don't believe when I'm looking at you from across this couch after three years of doing this, I don't believe that you believe your argument. Buddy. I will put you in it's my car and it's time for me to start shooting straight. I will put you in my car time. right now and I will drive you to my home that I've recently <laughs> purchased and I will show you an almost fully finished box of Triscuits without a stitch of cheese in the house. That's not what I said. I just said, I don't believe your I'm argument. I'm believing my argument. I, I put my money where my mouth is. I, I, I didn't Triscuits. say you don't have Triscuits. I didn't say you don't eat Triscuits. I eat them all the time. I said, I don't believe your argument. That's my... That you think a wheat then tastes like a Chips Ahoy. That's a BS. I'm, I'm speaking colorfully. My point is, though, is that a wheat thin... You, your whole argument is... Where are we at? A, we're at 45. Oh, oh okay. 48. Okay, we got to wrap up. Okay. All right. My, my closing argument is, is that you're saying a wheat thin is great because it tastes so good by itself and i am saying to you a cracker shouldn't if it tastes that good by itself then you're 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 lurching towards cookie territory okay that's my argument that is the funniest thing i've heard in a long time i want you to isolate that if you could eat a cracker by itself you're lurching toward cookie territory so his let's just let's just be clear here because i'm going to reiterate your point you just made okay. and i'm going to repeat it exactly but use it as a point for me okay you just said the statement that if a cracker is good enough alone, something's wrong with it. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say that's what you <laughs> yes. said. That's what you just said. Yes. So all the crackers that are good enough to eat without any accoutrement are terrible. No, I eat, I eat Triscuit sometimes just plain by themselves. My point is though, is you're not going to make a meal out of it where you're saying you can eat a box of wheat thins and it's like, yeah, because they got sugar in it and they're not good for you. Dude, look, bread can be delicious, but you don't usually go, oh, I love eating that white bread all by itself. No, you, you put it with stuff. That's the purpose of bread. Even the name Triscuit is annoying. All right. V, we're going to go to the vote here. Folks, we're back. Brand new episodes of Taste Buds here at the No Press Network on YouTube. Here we are, right out of the gate with a hot one. Well, we're we love go, it. You want to hear just a couple of phones? Want me to read a couple of phones? Can you real quick read us a couple? Steve, Steve, Steve can you read a few phones? And then V. I don't have the phones. I have. Okay, yeah, okay, V. Read us a few phones of your choice. Okay, I'm gonna go with the. You got. Most you have the mic right up, right? Now. Yeah. Um, someone said, what is this? The battle of the great depression? <laughs> <laughs> I would say that about Triscuits <laughs> and someone else said Triscuits are what middle-aged mothers with middle-aged children eat because they are the healthiest for their heart. And by the way, I knew this was coming. <laughs> there's going to, there's going to be only old people eat Triscuits only what, and then other people will say wheat thins are for children, but Let, adult let's eat see, Triscuits. Let's see. yeah, I'm predicting um, it. Wheat thins for me, Triscuits just remind me of shredded wheat without the frosting. Wheat thins That's are nice. great by themselves or with any type of dip. They're very versatile. The versatility, baby. You're just talking cheese. There's all sorts of stuff you could dip that in. Um, we have a lot of votes for wheat thins. I'm trying to look for Triscuits have better flavor. Someone said that. Thank you. Shout out. We have you. 24 flavors. Classy. Yeah, uh, but they're not good. I love both. I'll smash. There's a wheat thin Triscuit flavor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so step off um yeah this yeah that's it really they're all saying they really like uh wheat thins of course because wheat thins is i, I you, knew wheat thins would you're not giving this. wheat thins it's due I, I well, you could have you could have approached and said i'll give wheat thins it's due but this is why triscuits is better instead what you did is you revolted against wheat thins and that you'll find out will be your undoing <laughs> <laughs> All right, V, give us the vote. Okay. Humble pie. Let's roll it in. And I'm, we got I'm the breakdown right now. V, where are you voting? I'm going to vote for Triscuits. Woo! 
Um, it's 43 to 56. Wheat thins are the winner. Wow. Still close. And what's the, what's the uh, decimal places on that? We have about, um, how many votes? It's 40, we have about 43 point what? 4,300 votes. And we have 43.1 versus 56.9. Much closer 56, than I thought it would be. Wow. That is a lot closer than I thought. Yeah. I thought Tristan's were going to get demolished. So did I. So did but, I. Okay. All so right. close, close, close. Not too bad. I still love you. Congrats. I love you too. Congrats on the first one of the season. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That All was right. a good one.